here for Puzzling Parts and uh, I've done a fair bit of write-up recently in the blog about making the Rebel Maze sleeves, the clear sleeves. So I figured, you know, a lot of people ask, you know, why does it cost so much or, you know, what's involved in it. So I thought I'd try and show you. So the first step is to end up getting ourselves um, a cylinder of Perspex like that. Um, the way I get the Perspex is in blocks like this. As you can see, not particularly round. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll get this set up. So first off I need to mark the centre on both um, top and bottom of the piece. And I'm just using uh, a 45 degree angle. Doing this by hand, it's probably good enough. Um, and then I'll go and actually put a small pilot hole, I'll draw a small pilot hole into the very centre. Uh, the Perspex is, or acrylic I guess as uh, most people are used to, it is remarkably tough stuff. Um, and it's actually incredibly difficult to get into. What I'm going to use is, I'm going to put it between live centres. So if I find my centres down here somewhere. So I've got a, a drive centre um, which is going to go into the, the headstock of the lathe and then just a, a freewheeling tailstock uh, that's going to go in here. Drive that together and turn the thing round. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, it is California, I am standing outside, the sun is glorious, but I am wearing uh, long sleeves and that's purely because the acrylic seems to react rather badly with me. So there you go. Um, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to shift this into a time lapse because you don't really want to sit and watch me do this and I'll come back and talk to you again once we've got some of these round. Okay, so we're near enough ready. I'm going to drop the last of these and we'll get this mounted in centre. see that in the camera or not but we've got our center point marked and I've got a hole cut um, so the only other thing I need to do is these all come with protective centers so we need to take that off it's not much use to us uh, on the lathe and as you can see it's a pain to get off never mind So, what we start with is this amazingly clear Perspex block, and we're going to end up with it as a rather um, opaque surface once we've got it turned. And the idea is to get it back to this sort of quality, so that's what we're going to do. So let's move these out of the way. And get this stuff mounted up. stock up and all I'm doing is using that centre hole to line things up. Same thing in the back end, that centre hole just lets me line it all up. We'll lock it in place and then tighten this up and that just holds us nice and firm. You'll hear it biting in there. So, get our tool rest on, get everything lined up and we're about ready to go. Check that that doesn't catch. Lift it up slightly. We're about ready to go, so I'm going to get my safety gear on and we'll get started.
Okay, so it's uh, a couple of hours later, I've now got all of these turned into nice cylinders and as you can see I, I look rather like a snowman uh, So I'm going to get the lathe cleaned up, uh, we'll get the headstock changed over and we'll start shaping up some of the pieces Okay, so as you can see I've tidied up a bit um, wiped all the lathe down, cleaned up all my shavings and we've changed over the headstock, so rather than it just being a drive centre, I actually have a four jaw chuck in here. And we're going to use that to hold the workpiece. Um, the reason we do that is that I'm going to turn these to shape and then I'm going to have to bore the centre out of them. In order to bore the centre out of them, um, I need this to be held just with a one end because I'm going to put a drill bit in here and drive it through. So we change it over to that. So we'll go ahead and get set up and uh, we'll start shaping these. So we're going to get that held in nice and tight and set up ready to go. There we are, all ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just clean this up and uh, we'll start getting it shaped. Okay, so we've got the uh, the basic shape of the first uh, maze ready, and we're going to go ahead. I'm going to change the tailstock out for a drill bit, and we're going to core it. So we'll go ahead and get that done.
So there we go, there's the, uh, the first sleeve cord out of our material. We've got our, our hole through the centre. I need to clean up this end, I'll take that over to the, the sander and just clean that up, just clean up the rough edge. And then I'll go ahead and shape the second one um, out of the end of this block, core it and uh, carry on. I've got quite a few to do. So I'll do all that and uh, once I'm ready to start polishing this up, we'll come back and I'll show you the polishing process. Uh, so, we'll see you in a bit. Hey, welcome back. Um, while you've been away, I've changed over the, the jaws of the chuck. We're actually going to have to use a slightly different set of jaws uh, in order to hold the pieces. I can no longer uh, clamp around the outside of the piece, and I need to actually clamp on the inside. So, I've changed the jaws over, um, and I've got all my sandpaper here ready to go. You'll notice as well I've got the lathe bed covered. Um, effectively, I'm going to be working with a lot of water, and I don't really want to damage the lathe bed. So. Uh, hence the towels. So I'll stop talking, I'll zoom in on what I'm doing and we'll get one of these polished up and let you see how it all goes together. This does take about as long as all the previous steps put together so uh, I will accelerate it but expect this to be the longer part of the video. Okay, so that's us sanded all the way up to 12,000 grit, and as you can see, um, it's looking pretty clear. So I need to take this off, flip it to the other end, and uh, sand the other end. So I'll do that, I'm not going to record it because it's exactly the same as you've already seen. Then we'll come back and finish up the polishing process. Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, finished up uh, the other end, so we've got a nice clear sleeve, but we're not quite finished yet. I need to go ahead and put the polish on it. So I'm going to polish it up and then we'll head over to the drill press, get it drilled up and it'll be ready to go. So, uh, let me go ahead and do that.
Okay, so the last bit of the finishing process is I'm actually going to throw some Ren Wax on here. Uh, it just protects the surface and kind of saves it from getting scratched up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, as I said earlier, we'll go across and get this drilled up and ready to go. And that's it done, ready to be drilled out. Okay, so we've headed over to the drill press um, and I've gone ahead and actually marked up the sleeve. I've got a center dot slot bang in the middle of the sleeve, so I'm ready to go. Um, the attachment I have on the drill press here just centers the piece, uh, so I know it's absolutely dead center on the drill. So we're going to line that up and go ahead and drill through. Uh, one of the things I do tend to do is I like to just check the thickness. So I have a scale on the drill press that tells me just how far I'm going. So let's go ahead and drill out the first hole. So that's us through for the first hole. I actually have to do this in stages. So I draw the first hole, which is the thickness for the pin, it's about 2.9mm. Um, then we're going to go ahead, we'll take off this drill bit and replace it for a slightly larger bit, which is designed for the stop that I put in. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now this time, uh, I need to line everything up. Uh, so that I get a perfectly straight hole. This can take a little bit. There we go. And I need to set my gauge. Now I need to drill exactly 3.7 millimeters, uh, which is the depth for my screw. So we'll go ahead and do that. This has got our two holes and we're ready to go and tap it. So we're going to do that. Okay, so the last stage is to put the top on it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. This has got to be done by hand and is a little bit delicate. If I get this wrong, then I've just wasted several hours of work. So far, I've managed not to kill one. Famous last words, he says. <laughs> uh, so we're just going ahead and putting the thread into the acrylic. The acrylic is remarkably strong. Um, it takes a thread rather easily. So, let's carefully remove this now. And there we go. Um, just clean up the inside. And that's us got a thread. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, because my camera's not going to focus. Um, but that's us threaded and ready to go. So there you go, one clear sleeve, um, start to finish. All I need to do is put the um, the cap on there and I'm done. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope this has been useful and let you see just what goes into making one of these. And uh, I'll see you soon in Puzzling Parts. Thanks for watching.